From sports to adventurers, these exceptional people have beaten the odds and broken down prejudices, demonstrating that physical limits are no match for the human spirit. In this video, you'll meet remarkable people like Bethany Hamilton, who continues to surf professionally despite losing an arm in a shark attack, and Kyle Maynard, who climbs mountains without using his arms or legs. Can you describe to America what is the condition that you were born with? Yeah, it's called caudal regression syndrome. For the fact that it's super rare, aside from the fact that I don't have legs. Each narrative exemplifies the strength, courage, and perseverance of the human spirit. Prepare to be impressed and motivated as we honor the tenacious spirit of these incredible individuals with missing body parts. Number 12, Edward Crook. In a tiny town in England, 71-year-old Edward Crook underwent life-changing surgery to remove a malignant tumor on his upper lip. What started as an apparently minor sore steadily grew, surpassing initial expectations. Doctors promised him that he would just require a brief hospital stay of roughly 10 days. However, fate had different plans for Edward. As the days turned into weeks and finally months, Edward found himself in a coma, completely unaware of the passing of time. When he finally awoke from this protracted state of coma, he was presented with a stark reality. A large void had replaced the space where his nose and part of his lips formerly belonged. The surgery intended to extend his life had unintentionally left him scarred, permanently transformed by the surgeon's hand. The medical surgery, while effective in its primary goal of removing the cancerous growth, had a significant toll on Edward's physical appearance. Two square inches of skin from his shoulder were used to replace the space left by the removed tissue. However, the restoration failed to restore his former appearance, leaving a stark reminder of his battle with cancer. Despite assurances from hospital officials about the procedure's necessity and the provided alternative of reconstructive surgery, Edward had strong doubts. He chose not to seek any further treatment at the Manchester Royal Infirmary citing a loss of trust in the institution that had unintentionally harmed his face. Edward's post-surgery world was characterized by solitude and depression. He was once an eager participant in outside activities such as darts and fishing, but now he was confined to his home, safe from prying eyes and insensitive remarks from spectators. The act of going outside became an endurance test as he navigated a world that appeared bent on reminding him of his changed appearance. Despite his physical and emotional hardships, Edward's resolve remained unwavering. He took solace in the quest for justice, initially seeking the help of legal specialists to seek restitution for the surgery's unintended consequences. However, his search for reparation was beset with failures, resulting in the case being abandoned by disillusioned counsel. Despite the setbacks he encountered along the way, Edward remains steadfast in his resolve to ensure that others are spared the same harrowing ordeal that befell him. Number 11. Tony Iommi Now let's dive into the remarkable story of Tony Iommi, the famous guitarist known as the godfather of heavy metal. Despite an early setback, his journey has been marked by persistence, passion, and unflinching resolve. Tony, born Anthony Frank Iommi, grew up with a strong interest in music due to his family's ancestry. Although he was initially captivated by the accordion, his musical path changed when he discovered the guitar. Tragically, his musical goals were cut short before they could fully flourish. Tony was involved in a tragic accident at a metal foundry that resulted in the loss of the tips of his fretting fingers. Doctors gave Tony a dismal prognosis, doubting his ability to ever play the guitar again. Nonetheless, Tony refused to let hardship control his future. Inspired by the famous jazz guitarist Django Reinhardt, who overcame a similar impairment, Tony went on a remarkable journey of adaptation and inventiveness. Tony discovered a method to pursue his musical love by creating improvised prostheses out of household things such as melted bottles and leather coats. Despite initial setbacks and concerns from others, Tony's determination paid off handsomely, he established a distinct playing technique defined by dark, heavy riffs that would later become synonymous with heavy metal music. Tony and his band Black Sabbath helped reinvent the genre and establish its place in music history. Tony's persistence and determination shaped not only his personal future, but also the world of music. 
His creative guitar playing style paved the way for innumerable musicians and influenced future generations. Today, Tony's legacy stands as a brilliant example of what can be accomplished in the face of hardship. His narrative serves as a light of hope for those facing difficulties or setbacks in their own life, reminding us all that with passion, perseverance, and a willingness to adapt, everything is achievable. Number 10. Eric Ramirez In Colombia, a young man named Eric Ramirez, also known as Calaca Skull, has gone on an astonishing adventure to transform himself into a living skull. At the age of 22, Kalaka became the first person to willingly have his nose and ears removed in order to fulfill his desire to become a skull. Kalaka's passion for skulls began in childhood and grew over time. After his mother died, he felt obliged to fulfill his longtime desire, which he had previously avoided due to his mother's disdain for excessive body modification. His transformation adventure did not end with the removal of his nose and ears. Kalaka went even further, getting his tongue forked and colored a unique blue-gray color. His face is now covered in elaborate tattoos of skeletal characteristics, including enormous black circles around his eyes and fangs tattooed into his skin. Kalaka's appearance is definitely remarkable, with a dramatic mohawk hairdo and additional tattoos on top of his head. However, his distinctive appearance has elicited both respect and criticism from society. Despite receiving backlash for his odd choices, Kalaka remains adamant that body alterations are a personal choice that should not be condemned. Skulls, like family, possess great significance for him. While his appearance may surprise some, Kalaka wants people to go past his appearance and get to know him as a person. Despite his unusual appearance, he claims to be a typical guy with a unique style and perspective on life. Kalaka's journey is far from complete. As he progresses toward becoming a living, breathing skull, he intends to undergo additional surgeries. For him, it is about accepting his own self and living truthfully, regardless of cultural conventions or expectations. In a society where conformity is often the norm, Kalaka's narrative is a poignant reminder of the value of self-expression and acceptance. While his choices may be odd, they demonstrate the value of embracing one's uniqueness and enjoying life on one's own terms. Number 9. Zion Clark Zion Clark's story is one of incredible tenacity and determination. Zion was born with caudal regression syndrome, a rare illness that left him without legs, and he faced tremendous problems from day one. He was placed in foster care and had a difficult childhood filled with bullying, neglect, and abuse, moving between nine different foster families before the age of 16. Despite these early setbacks, Zion refused to be defined by his surroundings. Everything changed when Zion was adopted by Kimberly Hawkins at the age of 17. With the love and support of his new family, he finally had the security and encouragement he needed to achieve his aspirations. Wrestling became Zion's obsession, providing both an outlet for his energy and a sense of empowerment. Despite starting at a disadvantage, Zion's tenacity and work ethic catapulted him to academic and athletic success. Zion's passion for wrestling resulted in incredible accomplishments, including earning a Guinness World Record for the fastest 20-meter walk on hands. His accomplishment reflects his unshakable dedication and tenacity in the face of hardship. Despite the hurdles created by his physical condition, Zion refused to let anything prevent him from achieving his ambitions. In addition to his wrestling successes, Zion is well known for his tough training program. He spends most of his days at the gym, where he works on developing and maintaining his upper body strength through a range of workouts. Zion's training ranges from explosive motions like medicine ball smashes to bodyweight exercises like pull-ups and dips, all with the goal of improving his wrestling ability and general fitness. Box jumps are one of Zion's favorite activities, which he believes help him generate the explosive power he needs for his athletic ventures. He also does hand drills and aerobic activities, such as the assault bike, to increase his hand speed and endurance. Zion recognizes the need for recuperation to achieve optimum performance, emphasizing the necessity to give his body time to relax and recover in between training. Despite battling struggle at every turn, Zion Clark's story is a remarkable reminder of the human spirit's perseverance. He has surmounted innumerable challenges with pure willpower 
and unshakable perseverance to become a successful athlete and inspirational personality. Number 8. Nick Vujicic Nick was born without arms or legs due to a rare congenital disease known as Tetra Amelia Syndrome, and he faced enormous hurdles from birth. Despite these challenges, he refused to let his physical limitations define him, instead embarking on a path of self-discovery and personal growth that inspired millions around the world. Growing up in Melbourne, Australia, Nick witnessed firsthand the harshness of bullying and the depths of sadness. At the young age of 10, he reached a breaking point and attempted suicide. However, it was a seemingly insignificant experience at the age of 13. However, it was a seemingly insignificant experience at the age of 13 that sparked a transformation in Nick's life. After injuring his foot, which he now uses for typing and swimming, Nick realized he had a lot to be thankful for despite his physical obstacles. This newfound viewpoint sparked a fire within Nick, propelling him to face life with renewed vigor and drive. Nick began to share his story with others after receiving unwavering support from his loving family and encouragement from a kind janitor who recognized his potential. His message of optimism, resilience, and the power of a good mindset rang true with people from all walks of life. Nick's journey led him from despair to inspiration. He became a popular motivational speaker, traveling the world and telling his tale to audiences large and small. His contagious optimism and unshakable faith moved millions, pushing them to overcome their own obstacles and enjoy life to the fullest. Despite his physical restrictions, Nick refused to let anything stop him. He learned how to swim, surf, and even skydive, demonstrating that with commitment and perseverance, anything is possible. His astounding acts of strength and courage demonstrated the tenacious human spirit and encouraged other people to pursue their aspirations, no matter the obstacles. In addition to his adventures in extreme sports, Nick has achieved success in the corporate sector. He started two firms, Life Without Limbs and Attitude is Altitude, and has written several best-selling books, including Love Without Limits. Nick's charitable ministry and motivational speaking engagements allow him to deliver his message of hope and inspiration all over the world. Nick's tale is a compelling reminder that our circumstances do not dictate our fate. Despite seemingly insurmountable obstacles, he refused to be defined by his impairment, instead focusing on what he could do. Number 7. Dallas Wines. QQQ, Extraordinary Path from Tragedy to Success, demonstrates the power of tenacity and medical innovation. At the age of 26, Dallas was involved in a life-altering event that left him horribly scarred and blind. While painting a cathedral, he accidentally came into contact with an electrical line, resulting in terrible burns that ruined his face and robbed him of his sight. Despite the overwhelming hurdles, Dallas refused to give up. He worked valiantly to reconstruct his life and restore his freedom, undergoing numerous operations and treatments. However, the severity of his injuries presented a unique set of challenges that typical reconstructive procedures could not fully overcome. Dallas got fresh hope after meeting a pioneering team of experts at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Despite initial doubts about the viability of a face transplant, the team recognized a chance to transform Dallas's life in ways he had never imagined possible. The face transplant, a breakthrough 15-hour technique, marked a new era in reconstructive surgery. Led by plastic surgeon Bodan Pomahak, the team carefully grafted facial tissue from a donor onto Dallas's badly deformed face, restoring not just his looks, but also his sense of identity and dignity. The outcome of Dallas's face transplant was nothing short of amazing. For the first time since the accident, he could feel the warmth of his daughter's kisses, a simple yet profound joy that sent him to tears. While he encountered hurdles like continued rehabilitation and adjusting to his new appearance, Dallas accepted his second opportunity at life with courage and tenacity. Aside from its influence on Dallas's life, the face transplant gave hope to many people across the world suffering similar issues. The therapy, funded by the United States military, laid the path for future advances in reconstructive surgery giving soldiers and civilians hope that similar procedures may be available in the future. Dallas's story continues to inspire those experiencing difficulty. 
His unshakable faith, bravery, and tenacity teach us that even in our darkest circumstances, there is always hope for a better tomorrow. Number 6. Cassidy Hooper Cassidy Hooper's incredible journey defies expectations and demonstrates the power of perseverance and tenacity in the face of tragedy. Cassidy, who was born without eyes or a nose, has undergone a series of surgeries over the last six years in order to develop her own nose. Now, at 17, she is on the verge of undergoing a revolutionary procedure that could change her life forever. For Cassidy, each medical operation gets her one step closer to realizing her dream of having a nose. Despite tremendous hurdles, such as repeated surgeries and skin grafts, she remains steadfast in her resolve. Cassidy is ready to take the next step in her journey, thanks to the assistance of her friends and family, who have established a fundraising website to help cover the costs of surgery. Cassidy's committed surgeon, Dr. David Matthews, will recreate her nose using a layered method, using various tissues and materials to get a functional and aesthetically acceptable outcome. While the surgery is difficult, doctors stress that the primary goal is functionality rather than beauty. Cassidy's story is about courage, perseverance, and hope. Despite being born with a rare illness, she refuses to allow her physical limitations to define her. Instead, she takes on each task with determination and positivity, inspiring people around her with her indomitable attitude. Cassidy reflects on her journey to this point as she prepares for surgery. With each achievement, she is reminded of her strength and resilience, which have gotten her through even the darkest times. Cassidy sees the quest as more than just gaining a nose. It is about proving that with determination and patience, anything is achievable. Cassidy is optimistic and excited about her future as she graduates from college. Despite the problems that lie ahead, she is confident in her capacity to conquer them, relying on her previous experiences and the support of people around her. Cassidy sees the future as one of infinite possibilities. With her unshakable attitude and resolve, she is prepared to tackle any problems that come her way, knowing she has the power and resilience to overcome them. Cassidy's journey continues to inspire us all, telling us that no hurdle is too difficult to overcome with endurance and drive. Now a short pause to bring you our subscriber's pick. Paul Alexander's story is one of incredible tenacity and endurance, characterized by his unwavering spirit in the face of great obstacles. Paul was diagnosed with polio at the age of six and has spent the past seven decades bound to a giant 600-pound iron lung, unable to breathe on his own. Despite the availability of contemporary medical advancements, Paul has stubbornly decided to remain within the limitations of his iron lung, adjusting to a life that many would find incomprehensible. Polio, a devastating disease produced by the polio virus, immobilized Paul from the neck down, forcing him to rely on the iron lung for basic survival needs. Despite the widespread distribution of the polio vaccine in 1955, and the disease's elimination in the United States by 1979, Paul's condition proved irreversible, leaving him permanently dependent on the iron lung for respiratory support. Paul's iron lung works by employing a novel technique known as frog breathing, which uses throat muscles to push air past the vocal cords, allowing him to consume oxygen one mouthful at a time. This novel technology enables him to maintain optimal oxygen levels and survive without the need for extra medical procedures. Throughout his life, Paul has had several challenges, including limited mobility, limited vision, and the inability to execute fundamental body functions like moving or coughing. Nonetheless, he has maintained his resolve, continuing his schooling, receiving a law degree, and practicing law for several years. Despite the passage of time and the numerous problems he faces on a daily basis, Paul is still determined to live life on his own terms, refusing to let his physical limitations define him. Paul continues to navigate life with his iron lung, relying on the unflinching support of committed caretakers and medical experts. Number 5. Oscar Pistorius Oscar Pistorius, often known as the Blade Runner, rose to global prominence not just for his outstanding athletic ability, but also for overcoming hurdles caused by a rare congenital abnormality known as fibular hemimelia. Pistorius was born without calf bones due to this disease, which affects about one in every 50,000 births, 
posing significant physical challenges from a young age. Pistorius underwent life-changing surgery to amputate his lower legs when he was only 11 months old. Despite this frightening setback, his unwavering enthusiasm and determination shone through as he learned to walk with fiberglass pegs in six months. This early display of resilience foretold the extraordinary athletic career that lay ahead. Fibular hemimelia, which is defined by the absence or underdevelopment of the fibula bone, causes severe physical and mental difficulties for those affected. While the actual etiology is unknown, it is thought to occur during fetal development, influencing the growth and creation of the lower limbs. Treatment options for fibular hemimelia differ according to the severity of the problem. Surgical interventions may include limb lengthening techniques, correction of foot abnormalities, or, in severe situations, amputation and prosthesis. However, not all people with fibular hemimelia require surgery, and others can manage their disease with minimum medical intervention. Despite substantial physical constraints, Pistorius emerged as a leading Paralympic athlete, captivating the world's attention with his incredible track feats. His participation in the 2012 London Olympics, where he competed among able-bodied athletes, was a watershed moment in sports history, demonstrating his tenacity and desire to overcome obstacles. His story offers a moving reminder of the human spirit's perseverance in the face of hardship. Despite facing significant physical and emotional challenges, Pistorius's path demonstrates the power of determination, fortitude, and the persistent pursuit of one's goals. Ultimately, Oscar Pistorius's legacy stretches beyond sports, encouraging people all around the world to face their own obstacles with bravery, resilience, and unshakable drive. Number 4. Joseph Williams Joseph Williams, a 41-year-old man from Chicago, has endured numerous obstacles throughout his life as a result of being born without a jaw. His unique illness, autofacial facial syndrome, prevents him from eating, speaking, or breathing normally. Despite terrible bullying and suicidal thoughts, Joseph's life changed when he met and married his wife, Vanya, in 2020. Joseph communicates using a combination of sign language, gestures, written notes, and his phone. Eating entails inserting mixed food through a tube into his stomach. His journey has been distinguished by tenacity and resolve, as he refuses to allow his situation to define him. Growing up, Joseph faced fear and discrimination from others, but he remained firm in his conviction that everyone deserves respect and acceptance. Despite suffering adversity, Joseph's meeting with Vanya altered his outlook. Their friendship developed into love, illustrating that true connections go beyond outward appearances. Joseph aspires to be a DJ and use music to express himself. Despite the challenges he endures, he stays optimistic and resilient, pushing others to embrace their differences and pursue their goals. His narrative serves as a lesson to approach differences with curiosity and kindness, not judgment. Rather than glaring or pointing, Joseph urges people to ask questions and interact constructively. He adds that, despite his looks, he is a person with feelings who deserves to be treated with respect. Joseph's path demonstrates the value of resilience, self-acceptance, and the transformative power of love. Despite enduring difficulty, he refuses to be defined by his situation and continues to pursue his interests and goals. In a world dominated by superficiality, Joseph's narrative is a strong reminder of the beauty of diversity and the strength of the human spirit. He encourages individuals to accept their individuality and enjoy what sets them apart. Overall, Joseph's message is one of optimism and persistence. He reminds us that love, perseverance, and self-belief can help us overcome even the most difficult obstacles. Number 3. Ezra Freck Ezra Freck, an 18-year-old Paralympian, is changing the game in the adaptive sports community. Despite having severe physical defects since birth, including a missing knee and fibula on his left leg and only one finger on his left hand, Ezra's journey has been distinguished by tenacity and determination. Growing up, Ezra faced bullying and discrimination because of his disability. Sports, however, provided him both peace and empowerment, as did his family's unfailing support. His mother's encouragement to enter any room with confidence became a guiding concept for Ezra, 
influencing his optimistic attitude toward life. At the age of four, Ezra began sharing his narrative and experiences through motivational lectures, encouraging others to embrace their uniqueness and conquer problems. His passion for campaigning for the disabled population inspired him to co-found Angel City Sports, a nonprofit organization that offers adaptive sports opportunities to those with physical limitations. Despite problems such as sores on his stump and the frequent need to alter his prosthesis, Ezra stays determined to achieve his goals. His short-term goal is to win gold at the Paralympics in Paris, with long-term goals of elevating the Paralympic movement to the same level of prominence as the Olympics. Aside from his sports endeavors, Ezra uses social media platforms like TikTok to promote self-acceptance and normalize disability through humor. By freely discussing his experiences, he promotes open discussions about body image and resilience, inspiring others to make the most of their circumstances. Ezra's effect goes far beyond the track as he continues to promote adaptive sports and give opportunities for those with impairments to participate. Angel City Sports, the nonprofit organization he co-founded, provides free adaptive sports clinics and hopes to expand its reach to include all Paralympic sports by the 2028 Los Angeles Olympic Games. Despite setbacks and hardships, Ezra stays persistent in his determination to make a positive difference in people's lives. He believes that the actual measure of success is making a positive difference in the lives of others rather than receiving trophies and accolades. Ezra Freck epitomizes the attitude of a champion on and off the track, motivating many people to embrace their differences and aspire for greatness. Number 2. Bethany Hamilton Bethany Hamilton's story is about resilience, courage, and determination. At the age of 13, she experienced a life-changing tragedy when a shark attacked her while surfing, resulting in the amputation of her left arm. Despite the devastating encounter, Hamilton's enthusiasm for surfing remained unshakable. Remarkably, she returned to the waves only 26 days after the incident, exhibiting her incredible resilience and tenacity. Surfing with only one arm provided Hamilton with countless hurdles, but she refused to let them stop her from achieving her aspirations. With persistent determination and a positive attitude, she continued to polish her skills and compete at the highest levels. In 2005, she made history by winning the National Scholastic Surfing Association National Championship in the 18 and under age bracket. Hamilton's rise to the pinnacle of professional surfing was marked by both achievements and setbacks. She began her world tour career in 2009 and achieved her best achievement in 2016 when she finished third in the Fiji Women's Pro, defeating some of the world's top surfers. Her incredible surfing feats inspired people all across the world and cemented her place as one of the sport's most important characters. Beyond her surfing feats, Hamilton's positive approach and resilience have inspired numerous people. She firmly believes in accepting life's challenges and confronting them with tenacity and courage. Despite setbacks and suffering, Hamilton is determined to overcome obstacles and achieve her ambitions. As a wife and mother, Hamilton faces new problems with grace and resilience. She sees each difficulty as an opportunity for progress and continues determined to live an unstoppable life. Through her documentary, Bethany Hamilton, Unstoppable, she tells her inspiring experience and urges others to embrace their own resilience and pursue their aspirations with determination. Hamilton's experience demonstrates that with determination, courage, and a good attitude, everything is possible. She shows the power of endurance and resilience, motivating people throughout the world to overcome challenges and live their lives to the fullest. Bethany Hamilton's impact reaches well beyond the waves, leaving a lasting impression on the hearts and minds of all who hear her story. Number 1. Kyle Maynard Kyle Maynard's tale is an encouraging example of the human spirit's resiliency. Despite being born without arms or legs, he refuses to be defined by these physical constraints. Instead, Maynard has faced life's problems with persistence and a fearless attitude, demonstrating that no hurdle is insurmountable. Maynard had a strong interest in wrestling from an early age, and it would become his first genuine love. Despite setbacks and 35 consecutive losses, he persevered and eventually achieved success on the wrestling mat. 
His path from defeat to victory is a strong example of the value of perseverance and steadfast determination. Maynard has set his sights on an even greater challenge, ascending Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's highest peak, with just his stumps. This lofty ambition exemplifies his unwavering spirit and determination. With each step, Maynard overcomes the odds and inspires people to pursue their own dreams, no matter how difficult they may appear. Maynard trains rigorously for his colossal ascent, including walks and mountain trips, with his friend and team co-leader Dan Adams. They intend to climb Mount Kilimanjaro alongside a group of combat veterans demonstrates that with determination and a positive attitude, anything is possible. Maynard's journey is about more than simply personal success. It's about inspiring others to overcome their own barriers and face life's problems with courage and tenacity. Through his effort, Mission Kilimanjaro, he hopes to inspire youngsters with disabilities and veterans suffering from terrible injuries, demonstrating that no obstacle is too large to conquer. Despite the uncertainties surrounding his congenital amputation, Maynard is unwavering in his pursuit of his aspirations. His tenacity in the face of hardship acts as a beacon of hope for everyone who hears his story, reminding us that with drive and perseverance, we can overcome any challenge that comes our way. As Maynard embarks on his journey to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, he bears the hopes and dreams of countless people who look to him for inspiration. With each step, he demonstrates that the human spirit is indeed unstoppable and that with courage and drive, we can accomplish the remarkable. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.